Are you ready to see some shit products? Because I am. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been a while since I've actually sat down and filmed and talked to you guys. I miss talking to you guys, um, so I wanted to get this video up. Um, today I'm going to be doing a um, products I regret buying. I do have a handful of stuff here that I'm going to show you, but I just wanted to update you guys on why I haven't been filming. Um, I was really sick for a couple weeks. Um, I just had a really nasty cold and it was kind of like a flu thing, so I was just really sick and I was just like in bed and stuff and it was really hard for me to film and stuff and I've just been a doctor to the doctors and stuff so it's just been hard um, so now I'm finally trying to get back in the swing of things um, it may look a little bit different um, I did flip my whole situation around so you can see my vanity and these lights that I recently just put up if you guys want to see a makeup collection video then like this video and I will definitely do that soon um, but yeah, other than that, I just wanted to say hi to you guys and that I will definitely have more makeup tutorials up soon. Sorry for the lack of makeup and hair today, um, but my every time I put like my makeup on for some reason my eyes have been watering recently and I don't know if it's because my eyes are dry from the weather or what but every time I put eyeliner on my eyes water so it's just been hard to put on like a full face of makeup um so this is the best that I could do today um but yeah if you guys want to see the products that I regret buying then just keep watching Okay, so before I show you guys these products, I just want to put a little disclaimer here that just because these products didn't work for me doesn't mean that they're not going to work for you. Um, everybody's different, so I'm not saying that you shouldn't try them, um, but this is just my per personal opinion on them and that they didn't work for me, so yeah. Okay, so the first thing, I'm just gonna, I have a whole basket here, <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of grab stuff and show you different stuff it's not going to be in any specific order or anything like that so the first one that i'm seeing is this hydrating macadamia oil intensive moisture mask um it looks like this i really don't know like what the brand is or anything i think it, it just says organics beauty pure and simple um i think i picked this up at the drugstore um and it has dust all over it because I haven't used it. Um, but yeah, I used it a couple times and I didn't really notice a difference. And it didn't really do much. It kind of made my hair feel like waxy. And I just didn't like it. It smells really, really good. And I wish it worked. Um, but I did use it um, just to like, you know, test it out and stuff. Um, but I just didn't like it. It just didn't really do anything for my hair. And I didn't really see a difference. Um, so I really don't like this and I don't think I'll ever repurchase it. Okay, so the next thing that's in here is this e.l.f. Radiant Enhancer, um, highlighting thing. Um, it's in Sunrise and it looks like this. You guys probably saw it in my e.l.f. haul, like, forever ago. Um, I've tried using this, like, just to mix it in with, like, my foundation and stuff, but it's just still too dark. Um, so I do regret buying it just because it's too dark. Um, but this on a darker complexion would be beautiful on you. I don't know if you can see that but it is just really dark um and it's just too dark for my skin so i just regret buying it because yeah but it was only three dollars so it's not really that big of a deal but i don't really have a use for it so yeah okay so the next thing that i have is another hair product and this is this crack a habit forming hair fix um and i got this from ulta like like randomly i think i got it like you know how when like ulta does that like like the end of the year beauty thing where they give you free stuff if you spend it like you have enough points or whatever that they used to do um and you'd get to pick like out of like this list that they gave you and you would get to pick like free stuff I don't know if any of you know what I'm talking about but anyway that's what I got this from um so it's not something that I purchased but I was I picked it out because I was able to um but I've used it a couple times and it just didn't work for me and I just don't like it um it smells really really good but, I don't know, I just didn't, it didn't really do anything. It says that it's supposed to smooth, nourish, protect, strengthen, and shine. And I didn't really see it do any of that. Um, it actually kind of made my hair feel sticky a little bit, so I wasn't really crazy about that. Okay, so the next thing that I have is this Pons Rejuvenous Anti-Wrinkle Cream, and it looks like this. Um, sorry, it's hard to see. Um, it just looks like this, and I don't know why, but when I used this, it just burned. Like, it literally felt like I put fire on my face, and I don't like that, and I just stopped using it. Um, I don't know why I did that, but it randomly just started burning, like, underneath of my eyes, and I was like, hell no, this is, like, this is, like, the product from hell or something, or maybe I got, like, a bad batch or something, but 
uh-uh this shit mm -mm, nope so the next thing that i have is another hair product and it is this garnier fruities fall fight um strand saver anti-breakage spray and it looks like this and it's just like a drugstore thing um it's supposed to be a uh conditions and reinforce <sighs> So it's supposed to help falling, breaking hair, and it conditions and reinforces hair and scalp to prevent breakage. Um, when I used this, I didn't see it do anything. I didn't feel that it did anything to my hair. Um, I mean, it made my hair smell good, but that's pretty much it. Um, I didn't really see a difference in it um, because my hair is pretty fucking dead and this was not helping it. So um, I just don't like this and I mean it smells really good and stuff um but yeah it just didn't work for me okay so the next thing that I have is a glitter and this is by BH Cosmetics and it's the glitter collection and it's a loose glitter and it's in black and I've had this thing for a while and I I don't know I just don't use it because I don't like it whenever I use it like it looks so pretty in the pot but for some reason when you put it on your eyes or something like all the glitter like separates like I don't know if you can see that but it just looks like dirt I don't know if it's just the color that it's in or what but I just don't like this it looks very splotchy and it just doesn't apply properly and I've tried everything to get this thing to work and I just don't like it and I don't know I regret buying it just because it's it's hard to use and it's so pretty in the pot and then when you try and put it on your eyes it's just like a big hot mess so yeah no Okay, so the next thing that I have is a little quad thing, and it's by the brand Flower. Now, I don't know if you guys know about this brand or anything, because I feel like nobody talks about this brand on um, YouTube. And it's a Drew Barrymore, um, like, it's by, it's like a brand by Drew Barrymore. It's like her makeup brand or whatever the hell. And it's called Flower, and I got this quad, like, forever ago, and I, I don't know, like, I just, I hate it. Like, it doesn't have any good pigmentation and I just I don't know what I was thinking like I was like oh the colors are so pretty and then like they just don't show up they're chalky I mean like the blue is okay but like they just don't show up and they're just like stupid like they're so sheer and they just look stupid and I don't know I'm just not crazy about it and I feel I th for the price that this thing was when I bought it, it should have been so much better. Like, the packaging is adorable, like, A-plus on the packaging, but the freaking product sucks. Like, I don't know why, but the pigmentation is just not there, and I don't know. I just, like, I got it forever ago, and I just haven't used it because I just don't like it. Because when I put it on my eyes, it just doesn't blend, and it just, like, looks splotchy, and I just... I can't stand that and I don't know but the packaging's really cute and this is like the only thing that I've ever tried by her th her line or whatever so I mean if you guys know any good like uh, good products by this line let me know because I see it in my I see it in Walmart all the time and I I look at this stuff and the packaging is gorgeous but I am just like nervous because like the products don't seem to be that great um and I never see anyone talk about them so I don't know, I'm just curious, but yeah, this was just a no-go for me, and I just don't like the colors in it, and the pigmentation's really not that great, and they don't blend that well, so yeah. Okay, so the next thing that I have is another hair product. Okay, so this is crazy because I was on YouTube, and I this was after I bleached my hair like a while ago, and I was, I was looking for like good products to try out to try and like restore my hair and stuff, and so I trusted this YouTuber, and I went out and bought this big ass thing um and I hate it it made my hair feel like wax like I literally just hated it like I don't know what was wrong but like as soon as like it dried or whatever like it was all fine and then for some reason like my ends were like poof, and they poofed up or something it was weird I didn't like the texture it left my hair like it smells so good but I just don't like it and it's if you guys are wondering it's the ion repair solutions intensive therapy protein built rebuilder for weak damaged hair it's a reconstructor and I just I don't know I just it did not work well for my hair for some reason and I'm kind of disappointed because I love a lot of ion products and this just was not happening for me and I'm kind of disappointed in it and I don't know what like what the hell happened like but like it just it was weird like even when I was applying it to my hair it felt like my hair wasn't even soaking it up like does that sound weird but like it just was not 
was just not working and uh yeah so yeah okay so the next thing that i have you guys are probably going to be in shock but this is the bior freer pores um ultra ultra deep cleansing pore strips um I didn't like these because for some reason, I don't know what's going on, but like I've had an issue like for the past like few months where my nose like like my foundation will separate on my nose and like I'll get like little black spots or whatever and I'm like, okay, like that must mean that my pores are clogged and like I can see my pores and stuff and I'm like, oh, let me try these. And so I tried them a couple times and it they didn't do anything. It did, it like it literally just felt like I was ripping my skin off. So I just did not like these they didn't work um i've heard really good things about the charcoal ones though so i'm gonna try them um but yeah i did everything right i've tried them twice i put them on my boyfriend my boyfriend didn't like it at all um but yeah i just was not happy with these for some reason they just did not work and i just it felt like i was ripping off a layer of skin when i was pulling them off so yeah okay so the next thing that i have is another hair product go figure okay so this is the Affigy serious care and pro protein pro vitamin leave-in conditioner and it looks like this you guys have probably seen it you can get it at sally's um and i've tried a couple Affigy stuff before um and it's worked really well um and i bought this and i was like oh it'll be great like i'll leave it in or whatever and like let it sit and stuff and it smells good and um it's watery like do you hear that like there's like it's like water so when you try and like get it out of this cap it just goes everywhere so what I did was is I put it in like a little spray bottle and I tried using it and I just didn't see a difference I don't know if maybe it's just me or what but like I didn't see like it do anything um it just didn't really do anything like it kind of made my hair feel kind of like like not gritty but like it just wasn't like smooth like it was just kind of like it felt like frizzy afterwards I don't know it just wasn't working and I'm just kind of like disappointed in it because I've, I've tried a ton of Affigy stuff before and I lo I've loved it but this was just not happening for me and I don't like I don't like how it's like a liquid and then it has like a squeeze tube like how is that supposed to happen like because every time I go to use it it just goes all over the place and I, I end up like dumping half the bottle all over my counter and I'm like okay like that's really working out and then like when I try and put it in the spray bottle like it just I don't even think it did anything I don't know like maybe I'm doing it wrong I don't know it's a leave-in conditioner I put it in when my hair is like towel dried and then I let it dry and then after it's dry it just feels like gritty or something I don't know I just don't like this and I'm not happy with it and yeah okay so the next thing that I have is a eyelash glue and you guys are probably going to be in shock when I show this because I'm a huge fan of using weave glue for eyelash glue it's um it works a lot better um and it lasts longer and it doesn't like get it doesn't like pop off in the corners or anything like that it's like the best stuff ever but one day when I was at my mom's, I had to put my eyelashes on and I had forgot my uh, extension glue at home. So I ran out to CVS and got the duo adhesive stuff. And this stuff is awful. Like, I don't know, like, why, but, like, it's all watery. It got all over my eyelashes. It just was, like, horrible. Like, I did not like it at all. I don't know, like, I just don't know. Like, it just was not working out and I was kind of disappointed because I've heard like people like rave about this stuff and I mean this one's the clear white one I mean the black one might be different but like they didn't have the black one when I went so I just got the clear one or like the white one or whatever and it just I don't know it just didn't I didn't like it it was like too runny and it got everywhere my other stuff works so much better and I'm just kind of like disappointed because I don't know it, this thing's like four dollars i'm pretty sure and it's just like not worth it like i feel like it's just as bad as the um glue that comes in with like the false eyelashes like i don't know if you guys have ever used that stuff but that stuff is like awful but like when i used this it was like popping off my eyelashes were like popping off in the corners and shit and i was just like no fuck this shit so yeah not not happy with this okay so i have two more products so the first one is this um super skinny eye marker by nyx and i don't know 
I have mixed feelings about this thing because I use it for like Halloween tutorials and like when I'm drawing on my face but as an eyeliner it fucking sucks like I just hate it it's just stupid and it's too like they're like oh it's a super skinny marker and I go to like draw a line and it's like super thick and I'm like no and it just looks like sharpie like it legit looks like sharpie um and it just I don't know I just I don't like it it's hard to even like maneuver and it just like it gets like like you know like when you're like when you're mark when you have a marker and it's like running out of ink that's what it's like putting on your eyes like it's just stupid and I'm like why did I even buy this um I don't know it's nice to use like like for drawing stuff on your face and stuff like that but like to use as an actual eyeliner I just hate it and I don't recommend it at all whatsoever I think it's just stupid and it's not a super skinny eye marker because it does not leave a point line like a pointy line it's like very thick and I just don't like it for eyeliner I like it to draw stuff on my face but that's pretty much it okay so the last thing that I have is a lipstick and it's by NYX and it's in Snow White and I'm a huge fan of NYX lipsticks don't get me wrong I love them to death um, I'm a huge fan of them but for some reason this color just does not look good on me I don't know what it is but I just cannot pull off red lipstick for some odd reason it's really pigmented and it's really pretty and it's just like a really pretty like cool toned um, deep red and it's gorgeous but for some reason on me I just don't like it and it gets all over the place and I don't know I just don't like it and yeah. just because I don't like it doesn't mean that you're not gonna like it um I like more of a matte finish when it comes to like red lipsticks and stuff like that so maybe that's what I need to go lean towards more but this is like the first red lipstick I ever bought and I just don't like it like I've tried it a ton of times and I've worn it in pictures and stuff like that and I just don't like it it's too glossy and I don't know it kind of feathers and stuff on the corners and I've tried it with a lip liner and it doesn't really do anything for me and this color is just not for me um, but don't get me wrong I love NYX and yeah so just not happy with this color alright guys so that concludes it for my products I regret buying I hope you guys enjoyed this video I had a really fun time making it I know I probably sounded a little like pissed off and irritated while I was making this um, but yeah I just don't like these products they didn't work out for me but that doesn't mean that they're not gonna work out for you um, you're never gonna know if you like a product unless you try it um, so yeah until my next video I will talk to you guys later bye